Let's learn more. Let's learn more. Let's learn more with liberty. Robert Fulton was born in Pennsylvania on November 14, 1765. He had a talent for art and found jobs painting signs for taverns and shops and apprenticing with a jeweler where he painted lockets and pendants. He even opened his own miniature painting shop in Philadelphia. But by the late 1780s, Fulton decided to expand his horizons and set off for Europe to study art. He painted Benjamin Franklin's portrait and had two of his works accepted by the Royal Academy in London. But his career as an artist didn't take off. Inspired by his friends in Europe, Fulton developed an interest in engineering, specifically in canals, shipbuilding, and the recently invented steam engine. He eventually decided to abandon painting and refocus his career on invention and innovation. He developed a design for a machine to cut marble, a canal system to move goods inland, and a machine with a powered loom to spin flax. He also designed a submarine called the Nautilus, which he tried to sell to the French Navy. But Fulton's most important invention was his steamboat. Previous steamboats were too expensive to build and operate. What set Fulton's steamboat, the Claremont, apart was the engine itself and the design of the boat, which had a flat bottom and a square stern. Fulton had a good understanding of recent discoveries regarding how solids move through water and how to use this knowledge to make the steam engine more efficient. Fulton's invention helped revolutionize transportation. Robert Fulton certainly took a zigzagged path toward success, but throughout his life, he remained ambitious and pushed the limits of what was possible. Like Fulton, we should all strive to approach challenges and problems like an artist, using our curiosity to explore new perspectives and our creativity to construct new solutions. You never know what you might discover.